Welcome to Lockdown Knockout Live 
two. I'm Karen Bashir, and I'm here to bring you the quarterfinals of the recurve section of the tournament. We've got four men competing on one side of the draw, but today we're going to start on the women's side of the draw with the first women's quarterfinal. This remote tournament is broadcast from Glasgow, believe it or not. I'm here in England doing commentary and my guest commentator is in Switzerland. And we're going to bring you action from two archers on different continents, one in Europe, in the Netherlands and one in the USA. Now, before we get to meet those archers, it's time to introduce my expert analyst. Some say he dreams exclusively of tuning his bow. It's World Archery's Chris Wells. Chris, good afternoon. Uh, how are you? And uh, well, give us an update from the world of archery. Yeah, hey, Karim. It's, it's great to be back with you. We had so much fun doing the compound leg of this tournament. Uh, really happy to come back this month and do the recurve, even if we'd much prefer to be on the competition field for real. Hopefully that's not too far away. Well, you say it's not too far away. I understand July is going to be the sort of reinstatement of world records and national competitions. Is that right? Yeah, we've decided that on the 1st of July, the, the national level competitions will be recognized again by World Archery. So those countries that are able to hold events uh, under local health regulations can do so and we'll recognize them for achievements and world records if any are broken. There'll also be an update at the start of the next month on, on the rest of the international season and if there will be anything at the end of this year. Well, well, while we're waiting to get back to uh, the live uh, field, uh, we have this tournament. Tell us, tell us uh, how you came up with this tournament. Uh, we've done compound, of course, and now we're on to recurve. Yeah, it was only fair after doing the uh, the compound leg of the lockdown knockout in May that we came back with eight recurve archers in June. We tried to get a few more countries involved, a few more time zones, some Asian archers too, but it was just too complicated and, you know, very difficult to stay up to 2 a.m. in the morning to compete. Uh, so it's fine. We'll go ahead with our, with our, with our selection we've got uh, competing this month. And I'm really looking forward to seeing who wins. Yeah, what a selection we have too. I think it's about time we met today's archers. Uh, first up, she's the world number 15, originally from Mexico, but now shooting for the Netherlands. She took a bronze medal at 2019 European Games. It is Gabby Bayardo. Hi, Gabby. Um, how are you and how excited are you to take part in this event? I'm pretty, I'm pretty good. good. How about yeah. you guys? Yeah, we're, we're all good. Are you, are you primed and ready to go for this uh, amazing tournament? I am ready. I was shooting 70 meters uh, during quarantine. And then as soon as I got uh, selected for this competition, I started shooting 18 meters and a bunch of arrows. I'm really excited about competing. So you've been able to do a little bit of preparation for this tournament specifically? Yeah, a week. <laughs> <laughs> well, a week's more than I've done, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah, quite right. Well, look, good luck to you. Uh, I think it's time we met your opponent, isn't it? Um, well, facing Gabby is the 16-year-old American sensation. She claimed a bronze medal at the 2019 Pan American Games. It is Casey Calfold. Hey, Casey, how are you and how are your nerves? Hi, I'm good. Uh, a little bit nervous since it's the first match I've done in a while, but I'm happy to be here and we're going to have a lot of fun. And I see that you're you're in a purpose-built range. Have you been able to practice much in lockdown? Uh, yeah, I have a full 70-meter range outside and then I have this for indoors, which I've been practicing for the past two weeks since it started. So. I'm very grateful to have uh, both of those available to me in these um, different sort of circumstances. Yeah, it certainly is. Well, listen, good luck to you. I'm sure we're in for a great match. Uh, let's take a quick look at the draw for this tournament. As I say, the men will be competing on one side of the draw. There you see on the left-hand side and the women on the right. Today, it's Gabby Bayardo against Casey Calfold. And of course, the rules for this tournament, well, as uh, the archers have said, we're shooting over 18 meters for this tournament. It's an, a set system in uh, recurve archery, three arrows per set shot alternative. If you win a set, you get two points. 
If the set is drawn on points, you score one each, and the target score for the win is six points. Now, here are the targets. They can be lined up uh, vertically, as you see here, or in a triangle formation. The targets themselves are made up of concentric rings. And of course, the archers are usually aiming for the center of the target. That uh, four centimeter ring will get you 10 points. But especially for this tournament, we've also got the golden ticket white spot, which will score you 12 points. Well, uh, Chris, uh, the... the uh, the archers are, are ready to go. We've gone through the rules. Uh, anything in particular that you'd like to add to that? Yeah, I'd like to know. Uh, both of these girls, they were in the hunt for Olympic selection, obviously with the delay of Tokyo 2020. Gabby, you qualified the Netherlands' first spot in, in 20 odd years. A uh, bit of a weird situation this year for you. Yeah, it's kind of weird. Um, so we were already selected, three other guys and me. And uh, now we're going to start all over again. That's, that's not easy. That's got to, got to be a really a, a tough, tough piece of news to handle, no? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a little bit. Yeah, it's kind of like bad news, but um, I'm gonna go, work hard for it. Oh, and, and competition obviously is a very important part of that. Casey, when's the last time you shot a tournament, uh, <laughs> and and what does it mean to shoot a shoot in a match that matters again? Uh, the last tournament I shot was a local one, um, just for fun. It was at 25 meters, so it was uh, a little bit different from the normal indoor season, but I'm definitely really excited to shoot matches again because that tournament did have matches, and this is one of my favorite parts of archery doing the head-to-head -head stuff, so I am definitely very excited. <laughs> Yeah, well, both uh, of you shot a 577 in qualification. Uh, Chris, who's going to go first? Well, normally we, we decide this on uh, on eight shot, a number of ten shot to, to decide. But, but since uh, since we're doing something a bit random, we're going to flip a coin. Okay. A coin. Well, uh, you, well, who's going to call? Uh, Gabby, would you call heads or tails? Just um, heads. heads. Okay. Tails, heads. <laughs> hey, you caught it. <laughs> no, I didn't. Right, that's uh, tails. Okay. So, Casey, you get to decide. Are you going to shoot first or second? I'll shoot first, please. So there we have it. Uh, a toss of a coin, and Casey will shoot first in this quarterfinal. Let's get the match underway. Well, as you can see, Casey is shooting indoors at purpose-built range, and she's ready to get our first quarterfinal underway. <laughs> shooting into the top target and hitting a nine to start with. Gabby, as you can see, is shooting outdoors. Also a nine. And that looks like it's crept into the eight ring. So, uh, 26 there for Casey. And that looks like it's crept inside the 10 ring. So I make that a 28 for Gabby. Uh, Chris, uh, look, as the archers uh, go down to retrieve their arrows, they're going to confirm their scores. But uh, major difference here, one shooting inside, one shooting outside. Yeah, and Gabby uh, watched Mike, uh, her partner, shoot the compound version of this. He shot all his matches outside as well. I know there was talk of her trying to go uh, inside, but she's, she's remained in the, with the birds and the bees. Um, but the most interesting <laughs> thing about this match, and the one I'm looking forward to, is, is if anyone will choose to shoot that kind of special 12 ring that we've put in the red, 
Uh, the archers, of course, do have to tell us if they're going to go for it. So it doesn't count if they hit it accidentally. They've got to say before they shoot their shot if they're going to go for the 12. Well, there you go. Ne neither of the archers decided to go for that this time. But uh, let's go and get the scores. That's uh, Gabby on the left. She's confirmed a 10 9 9, so a 28 for her. And Casey, are you there? And Casey has got uh, 989, nine, a 26. So the first two set points uh, go to Gabby. Remember, target score is uh, six set points. So the early lead for Gabby Bayardo. Now, Chris, what, uh, while the athletes retrieve their arrows and make their way back to the uh, shooting line, who on earth came up with this idea of the, uh, the bonus 12 points? Well, yeah, lockdown has just forced all of us to be a bit more creative, wasn't it? When we were doing the compound version of this, of this lockdown knockout, we asked them all to use thin arrows rather than the fat arrows they normally use over 18 metres. Uh, Rico archers tend to use thin arrows indoors as well. Some, some use uh, chubbier ones, but, but mostly the thin. So that wouldn't make any difference. So we wanted to do something different, add a little bit of spice. I'm going to be interested to see if anybody goes for it because it's not a very big spot. It's quite difficult to hit. And, uh, you know, it's only in a kind of must-win situation that I think you'll see archers go for it. So, you know, maybe today, maybe tomorrow, who knows? Well, we wait and see. Well, uh, Casey is trailing and uh, the scores are wiped down to zero. It's time for the second set of this quarterfinal. So, Casey, it's over to you. Casey just making a little adjustment there on her sight, I think. Close one, but I think that probably is still a nine for Gabby. And that one could well be on the line for Casey. Right on the spider. Great response from Gabby Bayardo there. A lovely finish from Casey. A little high there so uh, interesting i've got the scars provisionally marked as a 29 for casey and another 28 for gabby chris uh, that second arrow from casey and the first arrow from uh, gabby uh, possibly subject to measures yeah we've increased the thickness of the ten ring line it hasn't changed the size of the ten ring itself but just made it easier for us to spot on these cameras on these remote cameras so i think you've called it right tens for both of them but Let's find out what they have down at the target. Well, Casey, let's uh, pick up your score to start with in the second set. A 10, 10, 9. So it is a 29 for Casey. And Gabby, what have you got? Oh, that uh, close one it was marked as a 10. So it's a 29 uh, for Gabby as well. So all square on the scores in the second set. So they share the two set points, which means Gabby leads three points to one. Now the archers are retrieving their arrows themselves. Uh, so we have got a little bit of a pause before set three. Chris, uh, interesting times in, in terms of uh, recurve archery with uh, the set system, di different to the accumulative score we have in compound archery. Um, and it does give Casey a chance to sort of wipe the slate clean and, and get back those two points. Yeah, absolutely. There, there are many matches in, in the match. You know, each set is a, is a new start, a new, um, yeah, a new round. So if she wins those set points, she wins this one, she gets back to level. Whereas uh, on pure points, she might still be trailing. It, it, it kind of makes it interesting till the very last. And there's always an opportunity to come back. Uh, it was introduced about 10 years ago now. It's 10 years we've been uh, playing this type of archery. 
Yeah, it's fabulous to watch. Well, Gabby still leads uh, three set points to one. So, Casey, it's over to you to start set three. Solid start from Casey. Puts a little bit of pressure on Gabby over in the Netherlands. Fabulous response again. Casey's found the middle of the target. Dropping a point there for Gabby. So Casey can put this out of reach with a 10. And that looks like it is in the 10 ring, our first perfect score. I want to the white dot. So Gabby's called it. She's going for the 12 points here. That white dot on the top target is what she's aiming for. Uh, she's uh, gone a little bit high there and will, I believe, score an eight. The archers will go down to pick up their arrows. So, Chris, just to confirm, Gabby went for the 12 pointer there, but she missed it. So does that is that automatically an eight pointer? No, if she's, if she's hit the, uh, the bottom of the yellow ring there, she'll get nine points for it. Um, it's just if they hit the white without calling it, they'll get eight points. So, you know, she went for it. She right. had no other choice. She'd, she'd already lost that set, uh, but she... It didn't quite get it that time. Well, they get a good uh, clear shot of the uh, what we think is the perfect 30. Casey, are you down there to confirm your score? And it is indeed a 30. Casey's found the middle of the target and grabbed the two set points here. But we'll get confirmation from Gabby of her score. And it was a 9 in the end. So a 10, 9, 9. Another 28 for Gabby, but Casey has taken the set points and brought us all square at three set points each. Well, Chris, it's almost like they did this on cue. Uh, we said that Casey could get back in it, but uh, we've had our first uh, attempt at the 12-pointer. Uh, the yeah, and it's that fantastic situation that we, that we introduced that for, you know. Uh, Gabby had lost that set if we were playing on, on normal rules, 30 points. She, she'd already dropped. But it gave her an opportunity to try and take it with the last. Now, that white spot is only uh, 15 millimeters in diameter. So it's smaller than the compound 10 ring, the, the, the small one we were shooting at last month. It's, it's not easy at all, is it, Gabby? No, it is kind of, it's funny because you cannot really see it. So you kind of need to guess where you need to aim. And it doesn't go good, always. It not always doesn't go good. <laughs> Well, it adds to our enjoyment and our excitement, uh, but uh, Casey's pulled it all square, three set points each. Casey elected to shoot first in the first set, so she will shoot first in the fourth. Well, that is exceptionally close. I think that might just be a nine, though. Another one, a bit closer to the line. Potentially all square in this set. A 
Bit of a longer hold, but a 28 provisionally for Casey. And a lovely 10 there for Gabby. So potentially on a 29, uh, Gabby Bayardo. Chris, your thoughts on that first arrow from Gabby? Do you think that's in the 10? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, that thick black line really helping. It's really helping me spot these arrows this time around. It looks like it's broken it. And when you break the line, you get the higher value. She's had a fantastic bottom left target. And you see the order is completely different in which they're shooting. Uh, Gabby's shooting left, right, and top. Uh, so that she can wait and, and see if she elects to shoot that 12 ring. Uh, Casey's ignoring the, the 12 ring, shooting top, left, and, and right. It, it's fantastic to have a little bit of strategy coming into this game. Yeah, it certainly is. It certainly is. Well, look, let's go to uh, Casey first for her score here. We've got you down as a 28. Just lift that up a tiny bit. Yes, it is indeed a 28, uh, 10, 9, 9. And Gabby... Can you confirm your scores? It is a 10, 10, 9. So the set points going to Gabby Bayardo in the fourth. She now leads by five set points to three and is just one away from victory. Chris, you mentioned uh, they, uh, that Casey's not really utilizing the, uh, the 12 ring opportunity because she's shooting that target first. Um, do you think she might change that up or will archers just stick to their normal routine? Our comfort plays a big part in archery, comfort and, uh, and rhythm. You know, if she's not comfortable going for that 12, it's not an easy thing to aim at, as Gabby said. It's, it's not a big spot. It's, it's outside the kind of normal indoor aiming procedure. She might just leave it. But one thing I have noticed is Casey's bow, the color of Casey's bow fits perfectly with our colors here for the lockdown knockout. Is this on purpose, Casey? Yes, I obviously called you beforehand and ordered this just so it would match, of course, for the views. <laughs> well, let's hope it brings you luck, Casey. Uh, you are trailing by two points. It's time to start set number five. So Casey on the shooting line needs to win this set. Good start. The thing here is that all Gabby has to do is match Casey. She can afford to draw this set and still take the win. That may be a little high, though. Another 10. Good pressure from the teenager. And that one looks like it has broken the line, as Chris mentioned earlier. And that's another close one, but I think, again, that is on the line. And I think that's the second perfect 30 for Casey Calfold. I want to shoot the white dot again. You had a good think about that, didn't you, Gabby? Gabby Bardo going for the 12 <laughs> points again. Oh, this time she's gone low. So the first one was high, the second one was low. We can't even quite see whether that's hit the blue ring or not. Could be just the seven points for Gabby. Chris, your thoughts? Well, if Gabby had hit that white spot, she would have uh, got 31 points and that would have won her the match. Uh, she thinks that bottom left arrow is out. So that's why she went for it, because she was she was not within a chance of taking it. Otherwise, uh, it looks like that will send this to a shoot off. It certainly does. Well, uh, let's uh, see if Gabby is down at the target to confirm her scores. And it's a six. Uh, a 10, 9, 6. So, uh, well, that is going to be beaten by Casey. Casey, can you just confirm the second perfect 30 for you? 
And it is indeed a perfect 30. And that does bring the scores level five set points apiece. What more could you ask for? Our first quarter final of the Lockdown Knockout Live recurve session two. And uh, we've got our first shoot off. Chris, how does this work? Uh, fantastic shooting from both archers. We'll now ignore that white ring in the target. They can shoot whichever of the spots they like, but it's the closest to the middle that wins. If we can't decide between them, then we'll go for a second shoot off. But we haven't had that situation yet. So one hour apiece, closest to the Guys, middle win. Well, there we go. There is uh, the, the shoot off rules, as Chris said. Uh, Gabby is asking if she needs a clean target. Chris, you're the uh, official adjudicator. Uh, we didn't use a clean target before. There's no need to have a clean target. I think those lines are pretty accessible. Uh, but she, 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 if you've changed it already, Gabby, don't, don't mess around. You know, that's good. <laughs> so the archers are preparing for a shoot off. One arrow each. Uh, beautiful blue skies there in the Netherlands uh, with the scores all square. As Casey elected to shoot first in the first set, she'll shoot first in the shoot off. So, Casey. Get us underway for our shoot off. That's a high nine for Casey. And that is straight into the 10 ring for Gabby. Uh, ladies, if they can make your way down to the targets. Chris, we couldn't have asked for more from the first quarter final, could we? Well, full five sets and a fantastic shoot off. You saw Casey grimace a little bit when that arrow went down. It was a clear nine and that's a big, big gap for Gabby to, to fit into. She did very, very well to hit that 10 uh, with her last arrow of this match. Yeah, well, uh, I'm hoping that both the archers are down at the target. There is a big round 10 for Gabby. Gabby, how do you feel? You went to a shoot off. Did you feel the nerves jangling? Well, it looks like we've got a little bit of a sound issue here. We can't quite hear you. How about now? Can we hear you now? Oh, no, it looks it looks like she's uh, just lost one of her headphones, which means she'll have to go back up to the shooting line. Hopefully uh, we can arrange that. Chris, uh, we can expect a few minor technical issues with this remote uh, system. We've been very lucky so far, though. Uh, fantastic connection from both of them. We did done a bit more work this time around, making sure the connection uh, maintains a bit better than it did with some of our archers in the compound one. But you, at the end of the yeah. day, it's, Can you hear it's me a full now? match we're looking to watch, and, and we got one today. Yeah, yeah or it's no? been an absolutely superb match. And it looks like uh, we've got Gabby back. And there she is. Hello, Gabby. Listen, I was asking you, how did you find <laughs> uh, that? How did you find the event, and how did you find that shoot-off? Well, I was pretty nervous because Casey and I compete a lot against each other. And, you know, it's always like, or Casey or me. It just depends on, like, how good we are in, in that day, you know? So I knew that she was going to be, like, a, a tough match. It was but a really, I'm, really I'm pretty good excited. match. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I'm pretty excited. And I'm pretty excited as well that I still that I'm still in the competition. Yeah, well, we're going to see you a little bit later on in the competition. You're through to the semi-finals. Congratulations to you. Stay exactly where you are, because I'm pretty sure Mr. Wells has some questions for you. Uh, but Casey, are you down there? Are you still around? Yeah, I am. I don't know. If you well, congratulations me. on a, a brilliant uh, competition against Gabby. Uh, you you forced the shoot off. It was a brilliant uh, couple of ends for you, a couple of sets for you. Perfect 30s twice. Uh, how did you enjoy being part of this? Uh, it was a lot of fun, and I enjoyed getting back into like the competition spirit again. So it was very, very cool to have that experience and to shoot against Gabby. And we love shooting against each other. We do it all the time. So yeah, it was definitely uh, <laughs> enjoyable. 
Well, thank you so much for, for your involvement. A brilliant match. And uh, I'm sure there's bags more to come from you in the future. Uh, Chris, uh, before we uh, uh, before I give you a chance to talk to the athletes, because I'm sure you've got a few questions of your own, let's take a look at how the draw looks now. Well, there we have it. Our first quarterfinal complete. Bottom right, Gabby Bayardo through to the semifinals. And uh, we'll find out tomorrow who she'll face in the semifinals. And then we'll switch over to the left-hand side of the draw uh, where the men will be competing. And in fact, here is uh, the schedule for the next few days. Uh, we'll be live at 5 p.m. Central European time tomorrow, Monday and Tuesday to complete our quarterfinals. And then we will have a day's break before we move on to the semifinals. Well, our archers are still here. Chris, I'm sure you've got some questions for them. Yeah, Casey, you uh, you shot that top target first. You weren't ever going to go for the 12 it looks like. Not in your game plan today. No, I had practiced it like a lot yesterday. And it's just, it's a really hard spot for me to aim. Just like I, for me, when I bring my sight onto the target, I bring it from the top down. I know some people bring it from the bottom up and I think that would be useful for those who do that. But it's just a hard spot for me to hold. And so I figured just shoot as well as I can in the yellow. Well, you shot some fantastic ends anyway. Uh, Gabby, you did go for the, the 12 ring twice. Will you be going for it again in your semi-final, do you think? I mean, if it's necessary, I'll do it. And um, I hope that next time I hit it. <laughs> Well, uh, listen, Casey, thank you very much for being involved. It was great to see you shooting those 230s, and it was great to see you force the shoot off. Unfortunately, that's it for you in this tournament. Gabby, congratulations to you. Uh, we'll see you again in the semifinals. Uh, and Chris, thanks very much to you as well. And of course, all of you out there, thanks for joining us. Come back tomorrow. We've got two fantastic archers for the second quarterfinals. It's Yasmin Anagosh of Turkey against Ida Roman of Mexico. But that's it from us for now. Do come back tomorrow. Bye for now.